Hello folks, Paul here once again with another review for you. This one is for the hookah you have in front of you. This is the Furat from Namor from Hookah Shisha. Now this is the hookah that they offer as a gift for any orders over $100 with promo code. Um, it's also sold for $35 on its own and frankly, I kind of hate this hookah. I'm, I'm sorry to say it, I was excited to get another small portable hookah for bringing to parties and things like that, but this thing I do not like, and now we're going to go over why. Uh, firstly, yes, it is tiny, and it is surprisingly unstable, even for something so short. Um, the grommet doesn't really fit all that well, so it kind of goes in kind of funky. But that's, that's not that bad. The problem here is that this is so small that it tips extremely easily. And if you don't have it on the most stable surface, then this is just going to, uh, just going to, just going to find its way onto the floor. Um, next, I'm going to start from the bottom. This is one of my biggest complaints. This base is really bad. Um, it is... Understandably, small, you know, thin-walled, cheap glass with bubbles in it, whatever. I'm, I'm not too surprised by that. But I don't know if you can see here, right here at the neck, the paint's coming off. This is not red glass, this is red paint on clear glass. Um, the first time I picked this thing up, even before I started washing it to get ready for my first session, uh, you can see right there it's coming off on the actual body too, um, I looked down and saw on my hands a ton of red paint coming off. And then as I started washing all of this, it just got worse and worse. Um, this is really, really not good. I am not a fan of this and... Yeah, it's messy, it's unpleasant, it doesn't look good, and it's just... I don't know. I, I'm not a fan. That doesn't work for me. Uh, next, we move on to the hose, which is this little thing that is super soft plastic. Um, it deforms extremely easily. I wouldn't even compare this to something like the new hose. The new hose is at least stronger than this. Now, I mean, if you're just looking for draw, yeah, I mean, the draw is fine, you know, and that... That's similar to a new hose, but the quality of this, and yes, I understand that this is a freebie budget hookah, uh, the quality is just really, really not good. Um, it's really short. It's only, I don't know, maybe four feet long, um, which only exacerbates the potential tipping problems with this hookah. Uh, this is more junk. Um, we move on to the stem. The stem itself is pretty okay. Um, the welds here, which I, I can't even call those welds because they're, um, I think they're brazing, soldering, maybe. It honestly, I don't know, it doesn't even look like metal. It looks a little plasticky, but you know what? I'm going to run a little test. So I'm not super worried about making this thing look good. Let's do a little filing. Okay, at least the, yeah, the, the brazing here, the soldering is metal, though, I mean, by the looks of it, I, I honestly don't know what kind of solder that is. Um, all right, well, beyond complaining about that, um, the hose port's fine, you know, it, it has decent draw, it's relatively clean. I'm not a huge fan of this style, but, eh, it does the job. Um, the actual, like, uh, screw-on bits here for the ports are, from what I can tell, brass, which is interesting. Um, but it is common chamber. So even though we have what seems like might be brass tubing going in this way, it stops somewhere in here. Oh, look, more paint. Um, and doesn't reach the bottom down here. So you're dealing with common chamber heart, which is going to be prone to rusting and other unpleasantness like ghosted and stuck flavors. Um, the purge, I mean, the times that I did use this, the purge worked okay. I mean, it's a, it's a basic purge, but as you can see here... 
Oh, let's see if I can give that to you. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, but the ball bearing's already rusting. I've only used this thing twice. And the ball bearing is already quite rusted. Um, which is interesting, considering the fact that it's a brass port here. So that means that it's the ball bearing. I mean, if you replace that with a... Um, an airsoft BB that would I I assume fix that problem, but I'm um, I'm not really looking to put any work into this thing. Um, let's see what else can I look at. There's a Namor branded grommet here or a seal. It's nice and stretchy. It's actually pretty good. Um, this could probably work nicely on a I don't know a better hookah. Um, here's the tray. It says Namor, N-A-M-M-O-R. That's pretty cool. Um, it press fits onto the top, as you would expect with most Egyptian hookahs, and it sits pretty well. It, it does the job. Um, it's a little small, but if this were any larger, then this hookah would have even more issues with falling over. So let's uh, stick this all together. Put the hose port back on, and you can take a look at the other reasons I'm not a big fan of this thing. Um, oh, yeah, the bowl's a standard, you know, kind of Egyptian clay bowl. The bowl's fine, honestly. There's really nothing too wrong with this. It's a little deep, but hey, that's good for some tobaccos. This is, this is my favorite part of this hookah, which is telling you something. So anyways, let's uh, change the angle a little bit and I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, now that we are back, I'm going to show you the other things that I don't like about this hookah. Namely, this bowl doesn't really fit on here. It doesn't stick at all with this grommet. Like, if you can see, that just comes off. That's, there's no way to use this. I hate it. It is really goddamn annoying. Um, what that is is the geometry of this part of the hookah, the actual junction between stem and bowl, is too short. Um, to actually make proper contact between the grommet and the bowl, um, this needs to be, mm, let's see, right about there? Needs to be a good quarter inch deeper into the bowl than is capable with this thing. So, like, that's just not going to stay on and not going to uh, attach properly because the rim of this bowl right here is hitting this rim. This is just too damn short. Um, funny enough, this might work with, say, one of the very thin-necked um, Crown Classic bowls, like the, the mini that I used to have, but I honestly wouldn't risk putting a glass bowl on this thing because it's probably just going to fall over and fall off. Um, the hose port is just barely, barely capable of using this hose. If you're trying to use anything larger, again, you're going to increase your risk of uh, tipping this hookah. But also, again, the geometry here, you can see that uh, the straight line coming off of this port is interfered with by the tray. This thing is not good. I am... Not a fan, and uh, frankly, I don't think it's worth $35. I am not particularly happy with this, and by that I mean I'm pretty damn unhappy, and I would have rather spent my freebie on something else. Um, yeah, I mean, I hate, I hate to give such a really resoundingly bad review, but this thing is amazingly bad to me. I don't like this hookah. It is more of a liability than it is a functioning pipe, and I can't recommend it. So that's it. This is Paul for hookah.org saying, thanks very much for joining us. Um, I look forward to using this bowl, and I'll see you guys next time. Happy smoking.